All right, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I am back with another Mother Warfare commentary and today I am going to be giving you guys my honest review of season five. As of recording this video, we are approximately eight hours away from the release of season six, which will conclude season five and we got the official season six trailer, which I will admit is already looking badass. Originally, I did not think I would have time to make this video. I didn't think I would make a review for this season this time around because as you guys may already know and I pretty much sound like a broken record at this point repeating myself over and over again but I've been pretty busy with school specifically homework luckily today I finally found some time because I don't have any homework due tonight and I thought to myself you know what I'm gonna make the season 5 review and hopefully upload it on the same day <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to if I do that would be amazing but if I don't I'm just gonna have to upload it on the same day season 6 releases but I'm gonna try again guys if it wasn't for homework I would probably still be daily uploading and making all the videos that I really want to make right now it's not even school itself I go in at 7 55 that's the time I have to be on my first period and my last class ends at 12 7 so that gives me pretty much the whole entire day to do everything else I want to do but with homework getting in my way and the amount we are given oh I just I can't but anyways getting back on topic I apologize I just wanted to get that off my chest because my goodness man I know I've said that many times but I just I want to continue saying it just to let you guys know that that's the reason why I cannot upload a lot right now season five is officially coming to an end and I cannot believe that man that's pretty insane it feels like season five barely began a couple weeks ago when it's already been over a month. I probably feel like that since I haven't been playing Modern Warfare that much these past weeks because again, school, I've been busy, but nonetheless, this season was a lot of fun and for sure, without a doubt, one of the best we have gotten in a while because a lot went down. So I wanna start off by talking about the maps. We got five new maps in total and that includes all the maps from all modes, 6v6, Ground War, and Gunfight. So for 6v6, we got Petro Royal Rig and Sudal Harbor. For Ground War, we got Verdansk International Airport. And for Gunfight, we got Livestock and Verdansk Stadium. To me, both 6v6 maps were amazing. Even Sudal Harbor, whether you guys believe it or not. I know many people didn't like that map because it was a bit camper friendly and spawn trapping friendly. But my favorite map was Petro Oil Rig. That map was a lot better to me because I enjoyed the play style, the layout, and the setting of it a lot more than Sudal Harbor. The only problem is I only played these two new maps for like the first two weeks of season five and after that never again because for some reason infinity ward removed the season five mosh pit playlist after a week or two of having it in the game <laughs> you guys probably thought i was gonna say because of school right well that is one of the reasons as well but <laughs> not the main reason if it wasn't for infinity ward removing this playlist i would probably still be playing it sure shoot the ship 24 7 is probably the best playlist in modern warfare and one of the best to rank up your weapons and level up but it does get repetitive after a while, especially if you're only playing two maps. Unfortunately, I did not play Verdansk International Airport at all because I don't really play Ground War. In fact, I didn't play Ground War at all during Season 5, but I'm pretty sure this was a good Ground War map because it's basically airport from Warzone and that's a pretty good location. So I'm guessing that 32 versus 32 gameplay on this map would be amazing. And for the gunfight maps, these were amazing as well. Pretty much all new gunfight maps we get are good. Good. Livestock, that takes place in farmland from Warzone if I'm not mistaken, so I already like the setting of it. Its design is pretty unique and cool as well. I like how there is a barn in the middle, you could go upstairs or downstairs. You could go left, right, and middle. It's a three lane map, which is everybody's favorite type of map, including mine. And I just like the look of it aesthetically. It looks pretty nice. I like the colors of it. I like how there's a lot of grass, etc. The same applies with Verdansk Stadium. This takes place in the soccer field that's located in the middle of Stadium from Warzone, and it's aesthetically beautiful as well. Gameplay on here is amazing. It plays very well. And there's an Easter egg on here, and I forgot to mention that there's also an Easter egg on Livestock. Uh, there's Demon Goat <laughs> on Livestock. And and here on Verdansk Stadium, you could ignite fireworks by, I think, shooting the ball into the goalkeepers, if I'm not mistaken. We got four new weapons in total, which were the ISO SMG unlocked at tier 15 in the Battle Pass, the AN94 AR unlocked at tier 31 in the Battle Pass, the Finn LMG unlocked by completing a challenge, and the Dual Kodachi's melee weapon unlocked by completing a challenge. My favorite weapon out of all of these was, without a doubt, the Finn LMG. This weapon is insane in multiplayer and Warzone. Speaking about Warzone and the Finn, I took a dub with this weapon, and I will be uploading that very soon, so stay tuned for that, guys. 
guys. But the rest of the weapons, the ISO SMG, that at one point became my favorite SMG in Modern Warfare. But after I used the MP7 again, I thought to myself, really? Really, I'm gonna betray the MP7 like that? <laughs> the AN-94, this was a very surprising weapon to see in Modern Warfare because it originated in Black Ops 2, it was later remastered in Black Ops 3, and then Black Ops 4. So it was pretty surprising to see a Treyarch weapon introduced to an Infinity War game, but nonetheless, it was still pretty good with the right attachments. Without attachments, it's pretty garbage. I never unlocked the dual Kodachi's melee weapon because I'm not a huge fan of melee weapons on Modern Warfare, but these are OP. They have a lot of range, they're kind of like the melee weapons from World War II and you will go on a massacre, especially on shipment. The battle pass, in my opinion, was pretty worth it. You get 1,300 call points if you were to complete all 100 tiers, which is basically your 1,000 call points back that you spent on the battle pass, along with 300 extra. You got immediate access to the newest operator, which was Lurch, and that was my favorite operator at the start of Season 5 because, I mean, <laughs> look at this guy. He's pretty badass and swole. We got many new weapon blueprints, operator skins, stickers, sprays, vehicle horns, etc. Pretty much everything that was in this battle pass was good and i've noticed this for a while already but every time we get a new battle pass it improves from the previous one so that's always great warzone became more enjoyable with this season because we got a couple new things that went down for example the stadium opened up and that was probably one of the biggest ones since everybody including myself has always wondered what is inside the stadium ever since warzone released and it wasn't just open like you could just enter through the doors no the top of it was also blown off so if you wanted to flank enemies from on top that were inside, you could go right ahead. The train was added, which you can now ride, gun people down, and loot. We got some new exterior ascenders for some buildings and the stadium, so if you want to get on top of the stadium, you can now ascend, and some buildings, instead of taking the stairs, you can now ascend as well. And last but not least, the train station interior opened up, so you can now go inside of train station and explore, loot, kill people, etc. This also marked our first map change in the world of Redansk, because before Season 5, Warzone was pretty much the same thing in terms of the map. Nothing really changed until now. And finally, one of the biggest things that went down during Season 5 was the Know Your History event, which was basically the Black Ops Cold War reveal. This was such a huge deal when it went live because it was our first ever official event in Warzone and Call of Duty in general. We have never gotten anything like this before where the new Call of Duty game is revealed through a live event. It was an amazing event, especially for Call of Duty's first event in Warzone. I was going crazy the whole time watching it. I thought we were actually gonna see the nuke go off when we heard the sirens. And of course, you would get a few rewards for completing this event, such as the Bay of Pigs blueprint for the SKS, a sticker, an emblem, a calling card, a spray, etc. I really hope we continue getting events like this in the future. That was a lot of fun, and I also hope that I am able to experience it on the very first day it releases. And we got the Games of Summer event, which I unfortunately did not participate in, but next time we get an event like this, I will. I was on vacation when it was out, and by the time I got back, it was over, so <laughs> I was a little mad. Overall, Season 5 was one of the better seasons in Modern Warfare. It was a ton of fun because of everything that went down, and for that reason, I would have to give it a rating of 8 out of 10. And this makes me even more exciting for the next season. I cannot wait to see what is in store for us for Season 6. But anyways, that is pretty much going to be my Season 5 review, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time I upload. Let let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about season 5 overall. Was it a pretty good season? Was it fun? Was it disappointing? Was it a better season? One of the worst? Anything, let me know. At first, I thought this was going to be the final season of Modern Warfare, which would have been a little sad if it was, but luckily, we are going to be getting season 6 in a few hours by now, and I'm excited. I cannot wait. Season 5 was amazing. Season 6 will hopefully be a lot better. Anyways, for the last time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't any, make sure to drop a like, and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful day, and without a being said has been John, ready for season six to get back on the grind, and I'm out. Peace.